Shadow people are shadows that are in a three-dimensional humanoid shape and are blacker than black. Some people see them from the corner of their vision. Usually, when the being notices that it has been seen, it will quickly run to the nearest dark spot and disappear. Other people say that sometimes these beings will instead allow themselves to be seen directly. Rarely, they even will run in front of a person and stare at them face to face. There are many theories as to what they are. There are the usual explanations that are thrown at unknown beings like they are demons, spirits, or aliens. There are two more theories about what they are and what they want. The first is that they are beings from another dimension and that most of them are just curious and wish to just observe us. The next theory is that they are the spiritual equivalent of maggots. That instead of being curious, they feed off of our negative feelings like anger, depression, sadness, and fear. It is thought that some shadow beings purposely scare people, like the infamous Hat Man. Even more disturbing is that some people believe that these shadow beings wish to gather enough energy to fully manifest in our world. I personally had an experience with a shadow person, and I wish to share my story with all of you. My own personal experience of witnessing a shadow person happened shortly after my father died. It happened where I worked at, which at the time I was babysitting a little girl. And it, interestingly enough, didn't start with me physically seeing a shadow. It, it first started with me hearing a little girl, a much younger girl than the one I was babysitting, uh, saying the word mom. The first time that this happened was when the little girl I was babysitting was listening to music on her tablet and there was a pop song playing and I hear a little girl's voice co-current with the music say mom. Yet again, I think this was just several days after I found out my father had passed away. Nobody else reacted to it, so I just chopped it up to me being upset. Uh, the second time this happened was when I was out in the garage area. Uh, at the time, I smoked ele an electronic cigarette, and the lady I worked for didn't want me to smoke it inside the house, so I'd go into the garage area. I was in there, I want to say this is probably about 3 in the morning. You gotta understand, at the time, I was... I My sleep pattern was I would stay up really, really late go home, go to sleep, wake up late, you know, cause that's just the schedule I was on because of work. Well, anyway, like I said, it was 3 a.m., I'm in the garage, smoking, there is this massive truck in the garage, and I hear from underneath the truck, Mom? So, yes, it freaked me out. This is not the first time something weird's happened to me. Kind of just... I chopped it off as being, you know, just a weird thing. And I remember smoking a little bit longer and then going back inside. Okay, so this would have been, I think, a week later? This is right after midnight. This is when I, I saw this thing. Uh, all the lights were off in the house except for lights that were above the oven. They were in the, the hood area. And, okay, well, I'm going to first try to my best to explain how this, this, the way the place was set up. I was in the living room, and there is a big, wide open... You can totally see into the kitchen. It's just a big wide opening from the living room to the kitchen. Well, at the end of the kitchen, there's a door size opening which leads to the hallway to the bedrooms. Like I said, it is just after midnight. I'm watching TV. 
I get up to go to the garage to have a smoke. And first I see this out of the corner of my eye. Uh, the kitchen is to my right. And something suddenly blocks out the light. I'm okay, that freaks me out. Nobody should be, nobody should be there. So I turn, whatever this is, by the time I'm partially turned to look straight at it, has morphed from what looks like a grown man into a little girl. And this little girl runs towards the hallway. Okay. Now, the hallway was blocked off by, it's one of those little fences that you put up to keep babies out. The family that I worked for had a big dog that they wanted to keep uh, contained the kitchen area, so this, there was a little baby gate up. Once this, this shadow of a girl, or, you know, a man that turned into a girl, hit this gate, it kind of rattled a bit. And the, the hallway, you know, has all the bedrooms in it. It's completely black, but this shadow somehow seems to be blacker than the blackness. It's just... And the feeling after witnessing this was just immense terror. Just absolute immense terror. Because I remember later that night I had to go to the bathroom. And the bathroom's in this hallway. So I had to go there and I it took every single ounce of courage that I had to go there. Yet again, I, I try to find, like I'm sure like a lot of people would in my situation, try to find a rational explanation for, for, for this. I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I'm tired, but I wasn't tired at the time. I, at the time, I was used to going to bed at 6 in the morning and then getting up maybe at 12 or 1. And just, you know, that was just my sleep schedule. I'm thinking, okay, maybe, maybe it's because I'm upset, but I'm only having these weird experiences at the place where I work. I'm not having it at home. I'm not having it at the park or when I go out shopping. I am, you know, I, it's just at this one place. I chopped it up. Maybe, maybe it was just a little girl, but then yet again, one that, that, that couldn't be it because how could she block off the lights from the hood, which are, they're a little bit taller than I am. I'm, I'm kind of a shorty at 5'1", but they're, you know, the little girl that I'm watching is not taller than me. Then maybe it was the dad. Well, the grandpa, excuse me. Maybe it was the grandpa. Well, the grandpa, you know, yet again, when the lights hit him, I would have recognized that it wasn't a shadow, and last time I checked, he, he couldn't morph into a little girl. That would have been, that would have been another video. <laughs> Could have been the little girl that I was watching, because one, she wasn't wearing a dress, and two, she wouldn't have been just like this 3D mass blackness. Yet again, it could have been a hallucination. I really, really don't think so. Okay. I didn't see the shadow man or girl again, but I did hear another disembodied mom once more. I believe this was due to me dealing with my sadness in regards to my father's death. This shadow being had no more energy to feed on, so it left to get it somewhere else. Did you have an experience with a shadow person? Tell me, or let me know what your thoughts are on the subject down in the comments. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and if you already have, thank you very much!